if you will, let's open again the drawing that we did on Monday. And what I would like to do just uh, just next to this, just as, as long as we're here, we have that as, as an example, is to start putting together the um, the plan of this room, which is you know considerably more complicated. And I my guess is it'll take us. This, this is all we're going to do today, so we'll just take it slowly and and do it do it carefully. There's always a question of how do I start and where do I start when you're actually going out and measuring a building. You often don't know what things are. For instance, for some reason, this column is 39 inches wide. And this column, which must have something to do with it, is 36 inches wide. So what's going on inside there, we really don't know uh, yet. But a lot of times as you're drawing, you start to understand not only what's sort of visible, what, but like what must be inside there. And this being like three inches different, my guess is there's probably a hat channel. It's just a thin metal channel that is screwed to the concrete. And then the sheetrock is screwed to that. And that would give us like an inch and a half on each side. So that would be our three inches. It's something like that um, going on. Buildings in the main are quite regular. And you can sort of tell from something that you do know what might be happening inside something that you, that you don't know. Uh, I, I think if we just, if we maybe start together and then as you feel more Constant, um, you sort of work down the drawing at, at your own pace. Um, I'll probably work my way uh, across the top, across here, and then maybe down this side and figure that stuff out later. I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure how how we'll how we'll do this. Uh, this is all all live, no no rehearsals. So the first thing I want to do is, uh, well, I think I'm going to start by by drawing walls that uh, lines that represent walls. So the first thing I'll do is just make the walls layer the the current layer, so whatever we draw will be on that layer to start with. And you can just, uh, I think, select it and either click, uh, I guess, right click and say set current. Gets a little check mark next to it, which means that that's the layer we're drawing on. That's the sheet of mylar that, that is currently uh, on top. So I, I took some pains to really dimension every, uh, every piece of every wall, uh, just so we can do this with the least guessing. I'll just start with my line tool. And I've got ortho turned on since all of this stuff is zero or, or 90 degrees. Um, if, you know, if, if that wasn't there, I'd be drawing like this and having to kind of eyeball to get it level. I don't want to do that. I want all the help from the program I can get. So clicking and just dragging it in this direction, uh, we can see that that distance is 14 feet 11. Okay, so line, click, we we'll say 14 foot 11, 14 foot 11, and enter. So there's that. So that's uh, coming across here to this guy, and then we got to come out. This is fun actually doing it in the, in the space. We want to come down. Uh, three foot one, which I can type as th three foot one or 37 inches, either one. I'll just say 37 because it's all inches. Coming across here and even, well, it's funny, I just measured, <laughs> okay. Uh, this is actually 39 and a half inches, but it's, it's 36 on our drawing. We're just going to do it 36. So we'll say, uh, 36, and, and you can you can see that that this this side of the of the column is shorter than this side, and that's this number over here, the one one and a quarter. The the CAD programs accept dimensions when you type them in a different format than they by convention display dimensions. You can see here, we've got a dash between the uh, the foot and the inch mark. And at, when we're entering it, we put the dash between the inch and the fractional inches. So as I'm going back up here, I'll do one foot one dash one slash quarter. I gotta, well, you, you can see what it is up here. 
I think I figured out this uh, Zoom thing better. Yeah, there. So what you actually enter there is one foot one dash a quarter or 1.25. Yeah. And, and, fr and frankly, I, I most of the time ju just deal with fractional inches as decimals, 0 0 0.25, 0 0.5. And if you're rounding stuff up to the nearest quarter inch, that's, that's a piece of cake. Eights get a little, you know, a little more stretchy, but. And I'm not going to put the doors and, and windows in yet. I'm just going to deal with the walls themselves just to make sure all that, you know, otherwise we start dealing with a lot of little incremental distances. So if we see that the distance from here over to the next column is a 21 foot two. So I'm going to zoom out here so I can see what's going on. I can, I can, I can zoom and pan in the middle of, of commands with the, uh, with, with the mouse wheel. 21 foot two. And then over that end, we come down, uh, let's say 10.25 inches. Over one foot eight. Um, when you guys get over to here, I, I, I dimensioned here to this wall. See that final two, two and a half up there? That's measuring to this guy, not to this, which is just a mechanical something or other. We're, we're, we're ignoring this guy. I'm coming up. Uh, 3.25. I'm, I'm just going to draw. I, I've gotten over to the wall, which continues, you know, straight on down. I, I've, you know, we'll end up dividing. I'm just going to draw it long down there and, and come back and we may, we might trim it up. Uh, make it longer, make it shorter. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Let, let's make these walls. Let, let's uh, off, offset these uh, six inches. And since we know that this uh, in here is pretty solid, we'll just end up offsetting this guy six inches and come down and offset that long one six inches, and maybe just go straight across. That's you know, I didn't get into that room to measure stuff. I'm sort of guessing at what's there. But a lot of times the the draw and the offset um, you almost alternate back and forth between them. So let's pick offset. So the offset distance will be uh, six, uh, six inches. And now it's saying, you, now we can pick the object to offset. Let me get, get out of here. So I'll pick the um, that wall and kick it to the outside. And then I'm gonna pick this wall and kick it to the outside. And I'll pick this little guy and, and kick it up six inches. Oh, it lo looks like this one uh, offset six inches as well. So now on the sort of back side of this column, we have the, the lines we need. They're just not joined up correctly. And um, remember what, which the tool is that, that brings two lines together. Fill it already. Uh, fill it with a radius of zero because we don't want any rounded corners. And you'll see up at the top, my, my current radius is zero. So I can just start picking objects pick and pick, and then I'll, I'll hit spacebar to repeat the command or the enter key and pick and pick. Over here is a little, here we're probably gonna use two different tools. There, there, are, there are a bunch of ways to do this, just depending on, on, on how you think about it. For instance, to, to fill out the rest of this column, I could draw a line up from here to here and then fill it these two, or I could fill it this one and this one, and then trim that out. Let's do that just for the sake of, of uh, exploration. So I use fill it to start with. It remembers that radius zero, so we don't even have to look up there. So there's that. And then to get rid of this guy, we can just use the trim tool and pick the piece that we don't want. And you notice with the trim tool is still alive. It's, it's still wanting, hey, oh, I, wanna, I wanna keep on 
cutting stuff. However, we, if we start um, picking things with it, it's going to it's going to delete them. So I want to escape out of trim since we're done with that for the time being. Okay, let's uh, let's hit that um, hit that column. You'll notice that it's this. You'll notice that this column is the same uh, width, one foot eight, and the same distance off the uh, exterior wall, two foot two and a half. So we can just offset this this line this line down by twenty one foot eight. So I'll pick offset twenty one foot eight. And then with offsetting, you get a choice of which direction you want it to go. So we want to be in a place where we can make sure that it's uh, on this. I don't want it up there. I want it down below. So note to self, keep hands off of students' computers. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a new rule for myself, which is you're not going to learn if I'm doing your keyboard and your mouse. You're certainly not going to learn if I'm turning your computer off and hit, instead of hitting the escape key. So I'm not going to touch your mice or your keyboards or your screens. Um, you guys, you guys need to be the ones to do that. One thing I'm seeing is, you know, it's such a pain entering fractional inches. You know, where does the dash go? Where does the slash go? That I, I really do them with decimals, just converting your head. Sometimes you need to figure things out just by a, a, a series of small measurements. And I guess that's what I'll do with this. Um, I'll, I'll offset this uh, this side of this guy down 21 foot 8. And then it's a foot this way, so we'll offset that line offset. 12 inches Do you feel confident in just proceeding around the room on your own at this point? Let's let's uh, let's forget the windows for now. 